Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. Uh, this is a brand new daily show we're gonna do every day in January called Tottenham Transfer Talk. And we're gonna bring you the three biggest rumors that of players coming into Spurs or being sold by Spurs each day. So let's get started. First of all, an oldie, a classic. Ezequiel Lavezzi from PSG, of course it is. Now we all know that we've been rumored to be interested in this Argentine 30 year old for a long time. It's been talked about in the papers for over six months now. The latest story uh, coming from TalkSport is that his contract runs out in the summer and it's Liverpool and Spurs who are gonna be interested in taking him. Now to me, this has always been a bit of a non-story. I will be so shocked if he is a Spurs signing. He doesn't seem to fit Pochettino's philosophy, certainly doesn't fit Paul Mitchell's philosophy of buying young, and it just seems like an odd, an odd situation where we would get a 30-year-old player in. Now, maybe if he were to come in on loan, I guess, in, uh, in this month, for six months and see how he does, then that's possible. But also, we're well stocked in those positions behind the front man, so it just doesn't make any sense to me. And the TalkSport are talking about us potentially getting him on a free in the summer. That would mean big wages, big signing on fee. I just don't think so. Let me know what you think the likelihood of that is in the comment section below, but I personally think one out of five possibility at best. Second bit of transfer news today. It's another one that's been talked about a lot. This time the Standard have brought it up. Moussa Dembele, the second Moussa Dembele from Fulham, the 19 year old striker. He's being talked about in terms of coming to Spurs again. Other clubs also interested, Dortmund and Napoli apparently. I think the reason why this is a big possibility is because he would be able to be, uh, he would be able to come to Spurs just on a compensation basis because of his age, and it would only be about three hundred thousand pounds compensation, according to the standard. That obviously would suit Daniel Levy. That would suit Pochettino. He's a young, exciting player, and if you can get him on the cheap when we're trying to build the stadium, that suits everybody's plans. Now. Today, the Fulham manager, uh, Jokanovic, has come out and said he doesn't want to sell him. He says he does need money to, uh, to boost his squad because they're down in 19th in the championship, but he doesn't want to be selling Dembele. And it makes sense that he wouldn't want to sell him, to be honest. He's one of their best players, and he's only going to potentially get 300 grand for him. So in terms of possibilities of that happening, I'd say three out of five. It's something we'd want, but I don't really see why Fulham wouldn't just wait till the summer when potentially he could just leave for free and they can get the best out of him in the next few months anyway. Because 300 grand to them, not a lot of money. Anyway, let me know what you think once again. And finally, the final bit of transfer gossip today. This is something that happened on BBC 606. Rumours have been abound over the last few days again that Charlie Austin might come to Spurs as a backup for Harry Kane. And Ian Wright was asked about it on BBC 606 show and he said he thought it made perfect sense. If Charlie Austin is willing to play back up to Harry Kane, play in the Europa League games, play in the FA Cup games, come on if we're 1-0 down for instance, then uh, Ian Wright thinks it would make sense and I kind of do as well. He's a similar type player, not the quickest, but can hold the ball up, bring other people into play. Obviously he's not, in, not as good, but as far as I'm concerned, if he's willing to be down in the championship with QPR, if I were him, I'd much rather be up in the Premiership fighting for Champions League football with the mighty Tottenham Hotspur. I think Austin would be available for three, four, five million because his contract's starting to run out in the summer. Good player, scored Premier League goals before. That's the one that would make sense for me, more than us having to go to 25, 30 million for Berahino. Anyway, guys, that's been today's Tottenham Transfer Talk. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Who do you want to buy? Drop the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. This is my post-match review after Spurs drew one all at Goodison Park against Everton.